Hey folks, Captain Dave here, and welcome to the Wolf Den. What I want to show you is something I just purchased just the other day on eBay, and I got it within like days, because you know how you get things along the East Coast from the Carolinas and things like that, even New Jersey, you can get stuff really fast. Don't dare order anything from somebody in Ohio or Indiana or anything like that. It's going to take days, if not weeks through the United States Postal Service. Other other thing is, is like when you get stuff from California. Oh, wonderful. It comes on an airplane then, 99% of the time. Uh, I've gotten, was it real covers from Washington State? Exactly three days. But that's not reason I'm actually uh, doing a show and tell. I don't do reviews because 90% of the time, I am the defect finder. I will find a defect in something. I have been known to destroy things that can't, cannot, or should not ever break. It's my nickname in the family. My parents call me the defect finder. My aunt and uncles call me the defect finder. But I will find a defect in this, and then I'm going to, in this object that I'm going to show you, and I have not found a single defect in another object that is similar. What should I start with first? Uh, let's start with something that I've never found a defect in. The Boga Grip. I've had this Boga Grip probably since the, the month that they came out and I actually bought this one at the Dusky Sports Center at the Dusky Boat Factory in Dania on the way down to the Miami Boat Show, I think it was, because they had this thing, even though it was right out brand new, they had this thing for like 25% off. We all knew in the beginning they were like $110 or something. I don't think I paid... 90 for it, to tell you the truth. And uh, I cannot find any defect with this. Even though it's got discoloration here, it's got discoloration there, this thing gets thrown all over my boat. I've used it as a bat. Uh, let's see. I've used it for about everything that you can think of. This works perfect for popping open a beer right there. Bam! That, that cap is off. That thing, is they didn't even know it. You know, the Boga Brothers or whatever, you know? <laughs> they didn't even know. Bam! That thing will take off a beer top in a, in a heartbeat. 90% uh, of the time, I don't have to worry about that because I go can, I go 16 ounce, and I go PBR. We got these right here. So, with that said, I have never found a defect with this product. This thing has been mimicked by every stupid-ass tackle company on the face of the earth. You go on eBay, and they got 4,000 versions of this thing, all the way down to a little tiny thing like this big. And you open these little things like that. Just, oh, a little tiny little pocket gripper. Because if it can be machined, anodized, or whatever, it's for sale on eBay, of course. So, to this day, I can probably... Uh, check the weight, the spring on this. I've never had it adjusted. I've never had it apart. I don't even know where the tool is anymore that you would pop these pins out right here to take the thing apart and clean it. So if that's a review, there's your review on the, the genuine Boga Grip, the genuine article. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> put floats and all this stuff on them. Um, I had my the, the line here get all chafed up and stuff, so I just put a new line on and I put a little little clasp if I want to snap it onto something. Still swivels perfectly. I mean, this thing is, when you buy one of these, you buy it for life. It's kind of like buying in a custom-built aluminum boat. It's for life. But what I wanted to do is show you something that, you know, I'm reaching over, picking fish up, by the lip, okay, um, I'm doing that, 
you know, this, these redfish can be 40 pounds to 12 pounds to 10 pounds. I don't know, who cares what size they are. That is grabbing their lip. Uh, I've done everything under the sun. Um, I've busted my back trying to lift them, sticking their head in a net. I've done everything. Well, I got, actually I was watching one of my favorite guys in the entire YouTube world, and I guess television world, is Tony Fontenot. Shout out to you, Tony. Casting Cajun, brother. There ain't nobody better than old Tony. Well, Tony was out on his boat one day, and they were doing a complete TV show. And they're catching these big-ass drum in some creek over there, and um, where does he always leave? Jugs Landing in Thibodeau, Louisiana, or something like that. I don't know exactly where he was, but... You know, they're throwing chunks of blue crab out, and they're just pulling in these 40-pound drum, and he's got some kids on the boat and all. And he had this cool gaff. It was just a big handle, this skinny little bar coming out with a little small hook, and he's reaching over and just picking them up by the gill and then flopping them on the back of the, the, uh, the bay boat. I told him that... You know, people in Florida, they'd shit their pants if you did something like that. You know, a bunch of tree huggers all the time. Ooh, this. Ooh, that. Ooh, that. Man, then don't watch the Louisiana TV shows, okay? Or don't watch the Louisiana uh, YouTube shows or whatever. I mean, there's guys that take eight-pound redfish over there skip them across the surface, and flip them into the boat onto their head, okay? And I never, ever have seen over there where they're, like, kissing up on Mr. Redfish and, and all this stuff. That's what I like about it. But, not to get off the subject, he had this cool little hand gaff thing where he was just reaching over, and grabbing them right in the gill and pulling these things up on the boat. It was just easier that way. Well, guess what? This here is the Baker Extendable Gaff. There you go. Nice little hook. Little thin bar. Extendable. And has a 26 pound scale built into the handle just like old Mr. Boga grip over here it goes to 26 pounds they give you this this is nice I'd hate to lose this I'm glad that is really securely on there uh, I'm glad it's really thick rubber because I'll use the hell out of this because when I get kids on the boat oh my god they're into everything I literally have to go around my boat many times prior to taking kids out and get out all the dangerous stuff. Hide all the knives. Hide all the fish deflators or anything that's sharp and prickly and heavy or whatever. But that is nice that that's on there. This thing seems well built. I mean, it's got a man-sized handle on it. Okay? Bigger than the Boga Grip. I mean, a man-sized handle. Okay? Okay? I mean, a Boga Grip, I don't know if it used to be bigger. And I don't know what material this is, but it lasts forever. This is sort of a really, really stiffer sort of EVA foam, I guess. Give you a little uh, lanyard type deal here, which is great. Okay, I don't know how long this will last, this little doohickey here that tightens it up. On the Boga Grip, they just give you this really tight little rubber ring. But, I got this for 25 bucks, free shipping from a business in uh, North or South Carolina. They shipped it out, I think, the damn same day that I ordered it. And I got it in like two, two days. So, you know, hey, uh, another happy eBay experience, believe it or not. But this, it, I don't know, we'll, we'll see 
we'll see how tough it's going to be. Uh, I can see myself using this a lot instead of, people don't understand my boat. I mean, many times, I mean, I've got the reason I take out little kids, the reason I can take little kids, the reason I can take older people is because the sides of my boat is real high. Okay, unless you're over six foot, you probably aren't even touching the water. That's what I've been told by a friend of mine. you got to be over six foot to touch the water in this boat. So, no, it's not some little, you know, boat that you, every time you turn around, you feel like you're going to fall out of it. You ain't going to fall out of my boat. No way, no how. I'm the only one who ever fell out of my own boat. It's because the top part of my body weighs more than the bottom part when I was swinging down for a rod that went in the water. Okay, so um, I think this will last. It's, it seems to be built pretty well. The only thing I see here that could be a problem is on a really big fish, you know, I'm using this not necessarily for, I'm not going to use this necessarily for gaffing a fish necessarily. I might even blunt this tip over. It's kind of sharp right now. I might blunt that over because I'm primarily going to be using this for reaching over, going into the gill, and picking up a heavy fish. Uh, I'm getting a little, you get a little tired of leaning over, and I get like where my, I get like my chest hurts where I'm leaning over. Um, Back starts hurting at the end of the day or whatever. You keep doing over and over and over and over doing it. So the only thing I could see that could be a little problem here, this might bend. I don't know how secure it is into this piece right here. Uh, these look like aluminum rivets that are kind of in, in here. It's like some black plastic. For, I mean, 25 bucks though. If I had to buy a new one every year, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But we'll see against the Boga grip how accurate the scale is, too. I'll be checking that. But, um, so this is a, it's a, just another tool. I probably will blunt this over. I think I might blunt that over. But another tool, 25 bucks. On eBay, I'm sorry I can't remember who I got it from. I could look it up. If you wanted to email me and say, hey, man, where can I get that thing for 25 bucks free shipping? I'll tell you. Just put a comment below or whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remind you or you remind me if, that, if, you're, if you're that interested. Okay. A um, little dead end on the uh, lanyard piece here. Seems like they thought about something. I mean, it's got like a little clip here where it's clipped on so you don't have these these real loose ends. Plus they knotted it. Just a quality product for 25 bucks. I've seen it where I guess it was a year or two ago when they came out with it and the guy was displaying it on the uh, videos for the iCast show. So, absolutely bulletproof. Real short, not necessarily bulletproof, but we'll see. Longer, reaching, reachability. So, that's the Baker, two foot long, telescopic hand gaff with a built-in 26 pound scale. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like I said, this ain't a review, because I ain't beat the living daylights out of this thing yet. I haven't used this as a club to beat a shark over the head, or anything like that. But, I'll let you know. If it turns out to be a P.O.S., I'll let you know if it's a P.O.S. or not. Alright, thanks for watching.